Hello future developers and welcome to the continuation of our ratings UI. Okay, so we are going to continue to design or we are going to um, design or style our buttons. Okay, so remember we have a button and then we have a class uh, that's a container called with a class BTN. So we want to work on that now. So to do that, I'm going to type dot BTN. Okay dot btn and then we are targeting this okay these buttons okay so to do that i need to type btn dot button okay. remember we have a button here called with a class called submit okay and here we have buttons here with a class called btn so to be able to access each child we need to go through uh, the class and then we would access each, uh, each children so btn.button now let's give it a background color of 4d i think this okay and then a color for the text so remember color for the text we want our color to be white let me just use let's just type white okay and then let's do our width to so set our width 200 px and then our height also 200 px 100 px okay. so 100 100 and then let's round it so we want to make it rounded just as you see here Okay, just as you see here, so rounded um, circles. Uh, okay, so you want a perfect circle. Okay, so we'll do border radius. And then 100px. Sorry, 100%. Okay. okay, so you can see now we have it rounded. Okay. You can see we have some border. Okay, so by default the buttons have some border line okay so you want to take that border out so to do that we are going to type border then we'll set our border to none okay so now we don't have these black outlines okay so let's see um let me see what we can do now Okay, let's give our button a color so if if uh, the user mouse is over we'll give it a color okay so we are going to do button hold on over okay, so on hover okay so now when we hover nothing changes so on hover we want to change the background color so let's give it this color now when I hover, you can see uh, I, um, buttons are changing, excluding, including this. Okay. Okay. So if you want, for now, all the buttons, including this, remember it's a button. When you hover, all of them are going to change color. So let's say you want to um, only this to change colors. Okay. You just remember these uh, buttons here are in a class called BTN. So we need to reference it here so the dots is a class of dot btn okay and then the button and then on hover we want to change the color so now if i mouse over this button nothing changes but the other buttons will change okay okay so now let's work uh on giving some spacing okay to our buttons like between our buttons and then it's um, other elements here. So to do that, I'm just going to type dot btn. Okay. So our class, our container. So margin top. So margin top. I'll set our margin top to. Okay, let's do margin top. The okay, margin top to. Um, let me use fifty. Then we set 
margin left to 0 px sorry margin right and then margin bottom to 50 px or oh, better still let's just clear this then i'm going to do margin bottom so margin hyphen bottom then i'll set my margin bottom to 50. Okay, you could also declare them in the uh, okay because i use margin top um i wouldn't the other didn't work okay so in another way we can do it this way so margin and then the top is going to be 50 px okay so let's see what happens so 50 px um and then our left right is going to be set to 0 px and then our bottom is going to be set to 50 px okay so you can see we have the margin and then the margin here okay now let's do that of our mc so our submit button so let's do that of this so our container and then the submit button so to do that i'm going to type um, dot submit so remember our container is called submit as you see here our container is called submit okay so we give it a class called submit and then we want to style it okay we want it to look like this okay, like this okay so let's start by giving it a height of 60 px then we'll give it a width of uh, let's use 550 px and then we'll give it a background color let's use this okay so there's the container okay that's our container so uh we would work with the we'll work on this okay and then let's set our border to none so border to none so that we take out the outline a default outline that comes with the button then let's give it a color so our test color is going to be white white okay so uh let's work okay so now we want to work on the submit okay so we are done with the class submit so just after the class let's work on the button so submit button okay so we've also given the submit button the same um, size as our submit um, container okay or div now let's round in so border radius radius give it a border radius of 30 px yeah and then if we enlarge our project you can see what we have here okay so this is our final code and then it's rather unfortunate the internet didn't help us see the icon but this should be what you should see okay this is what you should see okay with the icon here and uh, if you give the icon any name um, if the icon is in the font awesome library it will display here so here we want a star which is why we use the star uh, name and then it fetched us the star so that's it thank you for watching and then i'll see you in the next lesson thank you